Welcome, folks. I'm Jabby Kawai, joined by Amanda McCants, the funniest lady on YouTube right now. We are looking at Ice Cream Sandwich's Hospital. If you're unfamiliar with Ice Cream Sandwich, he does really, really funny animated uh, sketches on YouTube. I highly recommend you go through his library. It's not a huge library, and everything he does is really funny and thought-provoking to some degree. Use the link in the description below and click on the original video and give it an upvote and tell him Jabby sent you. And also subscribe to Amanda McCants. She's got really, really funny videos on YouTube. The heart helps pump your blood. The lungs help you breathe in oxygen. The appendix helps you self-destruct. I've come close to meeting my demise a couple of times, but somehow death can't really get a firm grasp on me, and I am still here. I ain't going out without a fight, baby. Grab a snack, get cozy, because I'm about to tell you a tale about how I survived my first medical emergency. But real quick, you know how it is. Time to monetize my personal injuries. Yes. Skillshare, baby. Has sponsored this video. I did a Skillshare, Skillshare is an online learning platform for creative people who are learning new skills, honing existing skills, or just exploring their creativity. Is this creative? Skillshare has all kinds of I classes. I think I've done like 12 Skillshare videos. They can teach you to animate. Love. I you love them. You can learn how to cosplay on Skillshare and become your favorite superhero. There's a lot to be interested <laughs> on Skillshare. Personally, I would like to take this class on finding style and exercises to unlocking creative identity. Because look at their name. Also, the content looks pretty good. Since Skillshare is made for learning, that means there are no ads and there's new premium classes always being added. In my description, there's a link for a one month free trial of Skillshare for the first 1,000 people that click on it. Thank you, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. When this all happened, my medical emergency, I was still in college. Stupid, oblivious to the doom that I was about to endure, but happy. Bunch of friends and I woke up super early one day to be overachievers and go to an interactive programming workshop. More than me, my friends wanted to be overachievers. I was lured in by free food. All I had to do was show up, pretend to follow along, and then pack away as many calories as I could. Simple. We all get there and things are going smoothly. I'm enjoying several delicious pastries at no expense to myself. But, oh, oh. Yeah. Yes. I feel a little gurgly. Okay, my real quick. I'm sorry to interrupt. So, for me, if there's free food, I'm going. If there's free drinks, I'm going. It's one of those things where I get reeled in real quick and I just end up stuffing myself with as much food as possible. Like, especially if you've ever done like low budget film shoots and they- Oh the only yeah, the crafty table. Yeah, there's all, it's all you got. Yeah. You're not getting paid. <laughs> and it's like gummy worms, Ritz, or no, yeah. it's the Welch's like gummy little things. You know what yeah. I'm talking about? All awful for you. But awful, awful. It's like you're going to eat your payment. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? Or if, if you've ever gone to a buffet, you're like, I'm going to get my $5. Hometown buffet. Yeah. Shout out. <laughs> exactly. I'm going to get my $8 out of this place. And eat everything here possible. My bowels were making a movement and I figured I probably ate something bad and went to the bathroom to relieve myself. After going to the bathroom, I felt much better. Ooh, free food. And I went back to the original plan, <laughs> having delicious and free food. Oh, it's back. I was feeling really nasty again and it was stronger this time. You know how sometimes your body's like, oh, I need to go to the bathroom. This was more of like, you need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I better stop eating this stuff. <sighs> As the seminar went on, I started to get more and more sick and looked more and more pale. I would draw that here, but you know. You know. It got so <laughs> bad that I just left to go home. At this point, I lived off of campus and it took me like 20 minutes to walk home by foot. But I was so sick, I didn't even care. I was so determined to get home and sleep <laughs> through whatever the hell this was and just be done with it. I love his little animations for some reason. I know, like the it, little squiggly legs. It, it, just, it just tickles me so much. Uh, and I love that moment when he comes out of the bathroom, he's like, oh, free food. <laughs> <laughs> like, Dude, you just forgot. You, you literally forgot what put you in there in the first place. Halfway through the walk home, I was starting to feel really nauseous again, though. Like, throw up nauseous. <laughs> I hate throwing up. However, yeah. nature is strong, and my stomach demanded a purge. <laughs> but then I saw a truck driving my way, and I thought it would be really embarrassing to be seen throwing up on the side of the road at like 8 in the morning. So <laughs> I just willed myself to not throw up. I don't know how. <laughs> Eventually, I made it home. Still sick, but at least I was in bed. My roommate was home at the time, and I told him about what was happening. About all of my symptoms, the loss of free food, which was the real tragedy. The loss. And my iron will that stopped me from throwing up somehow. He let me rest, which hardly happened because I did get sick in the bathroom a couple times. I can't describe it accurately how terrible this felt. I would not wish this on my greatest enemy. Later, my roommate was talking to his then-girlfriend, and she was like, Uh, that sounds a lot like appendicitis. You should take oh. Oh shit. Hey Andy. <laughs> we should uh we should go to the hospital. 
Mm. Why? I'm gonna take you to the hospital. And so he did. At the hospital, I'm asked a bunch of questions. Where does it hurt? How long has it been hurting? When did this start? Etc. Etc. And then the doctor told me, I think you have appendicitis. We're gonna have to move you to urgent care. What's appendicitis? It's the infection and inflammation of the appendix. Failing to treat it can result in rupturing and infecting your entire body, which is usually fatal. What's an appendix? It's mm -hmm. a useless thin tube in your lower right abdomen. It serves no function of the human body. Yeah, so I was going through mountains of pain and suffering because this little tiny part of me that has no purpose was going haywire and could literally explode inside of me and kill me. I was bitter, but I had no other choice. They admitted me to the hospital for emergency surgery. This was not the plan. I was supposed to be pretending to work while enjoying free breakfast, not getting surgery. I've never had a plan go that awry before. Hey guys, let's go get some coffee together. This what? was certainly not what I had in mind. <laughs> Despite the increased suffering that's about to happen to me, I think that I was really lucky. If my roommate was out of the house at that point, he might have never known and never been yeah, able to bring died. me to the hospital. This the is like place. the I would have just stayed almost. In sorry, this is similar to the Maple Street thing, where if it's like, if one thing went wrong, I could have died, or like, oh yeah, I was on. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, the like, Ryan George video. Thing, yeah. yeah, exactly. Had for the pain to pass, and then my appendix would have exploded. Then I would have gotten a one-way free ticket to the river sticks. So there's like no <laughs> refunds. Or... In the hospital, they take me to the scanner room. They needed to look inside of my sweet bod to assess <laughs> the situation and to see how dire it was. I didn't know how they figured this one out, but I guess that I was too thin and that made the scanning more complex. And the nurse was like, you are much too compact. And I'm like, what does that mean? And she was like, this tube needs to go in your butt. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. Yeah, my intestines were just too close together, so the scan would be too hard to see. And they needed to pump me full of some kind of liquid oh, to expand my sucks. intestines. If to they, get it they don't look, say that to me, if it was actually when I go to urgent care, what the real if they don't say I'm compact, is, I'm going to be pissed. Sense, <laughs> I'm going to be like, sense. you better look again because <laughs> I am compact. <laughs> I'm too thin. You're supposed to I didn't have that me. lemon water to not be compact. <laughs> issue is, I don't know if that makes sense, but that's what they said. Maybe I should've, should've stayed, stayed home. home. I mean, what was I gonna say? No, I'm trying to not die here. <laughs> so that was a really unfun experience that I'm not gonna animate. After that, they confirmed that the situation was dire. <laughs> <laughs> so after the scanning room, I was back in the hospital bed waiting for the next steps when I got a visit from the anesthesiologist. We will call him John. He and the surgeon were talking and I heard them say they needed to pump my stomach for safety. If they put you under for surgery, you need to have your stomach empty, otherwise it can be dangerous. Again, not sure why, all I knew is that I was sick and that these people were just going to try to save me. So everything was go at that point. John then turns to me and says with some kind of twisted joy, oh, you're not gonna like this. Yeah? Well, newsflash, John, I'm not liking any of this. <laughs> I like free breakfast, not surgery. I didn't sign up for this crap. So this tube has to go in your stomach. To pump the stomach, you have to have a tube pushed down your throat. It's a long piece of plastic that you have to continuously swallow down until uh, it reaches your stomach. Oh, and then they God. can turn it on and get all of the stuff out of your stomach. I don't Honestly? think you need any convincing when I say that is... I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> also, you can do it wrong. If you don't position your head correctly, it can hit the back of your throat and make yourself vomit. And guess what I did? I threw up everywhere. On myself, on the nurses, on the surgeon who was trying to help me with the tube. I'm not going to animate this either but all i know is that i have a distinct fear of tubes now what if i don't make it through this oh my gosh will i ever see you again <laughs> <laughs> Finally, I was rolled off to surgery and moved to the operating table. Oops, one more touch to the back of the throat for good measure. <laughs> and that was the last thing I remember. I was out. That anesthesia, it really does the job. And then I woke yeah. up. Appendix -cytic, appendixless. I was cured. I spent the next day healing a little bit. My mom visited. I watched Love. cartoons on TV all day. And I got soup and an icy pop and juice for meals, which seemed like a lot of sugar for a hospital to give someone. But hey, this is America, baby. Sugar is like our aspirin. And I didn't mind. I, I just went through a lot. My friends who were at the seminar thing collected all my stuff for me so no one would steal it, which again, it's really nice of them. Making this video makes me realize that I'm really lucky to have the people that I have in my life. They look out for me. Thank you for looking out for me. Because if you weren't, nature would probably have taken me by now. If you are feeling nauseous and have pain in your lower right abdomen, see a doctor. Damn. That I love this guy. I like him because he found a way to express himself that is so unique and like 
instead of just like talking to the camera and telling a story, he made it animated and super fun and just like how his humor is. I love that. There's so much creativity here and I give it a gold, gold, gold star. Yeah, me too. I, I agree with you 100%. I mean, that's why I like his comedy so much. The thing about it, this one in particular kind of speaks to my worst fears as a human being, like something like an appendicitis or um, a ruptured spleen or something like that, or like some, something going on with your body that you have no way to anticipate. Mm -hmm. Something could just go absurdly wrong. Kidney stones, that freaks me out a lot too. <laughs> like, but kidney stones are nice, and he, and here's why. Because I'm deathly afraid of all illnesses. I went to urgent care like eight times last year. It was a whole thing. Kidney stones are nice because you just gotta wait for that baby to pass. Nothing's That's, gonna not happen. Not for guys. For really? guys, it's like for guys, it's like delivering a baby. That's the only thing that they can okay, make it equivalent to. Okay, well, for us, to. delivering a baby is delivering a baby. <laughs> I know. So. <laughs> exactly. I'm glad I'm not a woman. <laughs> wait, but on women, they hurt too. But what I'm saying about kidney stones is you're gonna be okay. Yeah. Appendicitis, if you don't go, you're not going to be okay. Kidney stones, you sit down, you watch a little Breaking Bad, and you're going to be okay. Okay. You know? Okay. A little pain, please. Like, you're fine. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's a Friends episode about Joey trying to pass a kidney stone. It's kind of agreed upon that it's, as for guys, it's like, you know, delivering a baby. That's the closest equivalent we can come to in terms of, like, the pain a woman might feel. In Friends, they show, like, a side-by-side -side of Joey passing a kidney stone, and I think Phoebe having babies or something like that. Yeah, it freaks me out just because of that alone, that idea. You're making me feel a tad bit better. Yeah, just it. sit down just and pass it. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe to Ice Cream Sandwich as well as Amanda McCants. Both very, very funny uh, YouTube channels that I enjoy watching thoroughly. This is the only time I've found vomit funny. That, and that's the truth. Like, anytime I saw it in Family Guy, I just got turned I off. I just hate it. I still yeah. hate it. I love him. I just still hate it. Yeah. Like, this is the only time I thought it was funny because I, I can put myself in that kind of situation where something's going down my throat. I feel like I would have his reaction of just like, God, that's awful. That's just so awful. I have no... What, you, you seem like you were chill about the tube thing. Yeah, I mean, you know. You guys see my Sports <laughs> Illustrated video? I gotta be in a bikini, okay? okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, you guys. I'm kidding. <laughs> Thanks so much for hanging out. And uh, I'm Jabby Kuei. This is Amanda McCants. Peace out.